Hello, Electron Eaters. Welcome back to Perifractic's Retro Recipes. Um, your nuts? No, your nuts. But if it's your first time, you may not be familiar with friend of the channel, Ashley. She's the helpful shop worker with a chipper smile, and since I randomly met her at her store, we've developed a lovely friendship. Hi, um, do you sell ozone generators that I can make my own ozone? You're the one putting the hole in the ozone layer. Aisle 14, please. Oof. Yeah. Anyway, even if you're not familiar with Ashley, you probably are with Kids React. On that channel, they feature amusing reactions of children to seeing things that were around before they were born, as is the case with our favorite hobby. Wait, Arya Stark? So I thought it would be fun to try the same with Ashley. And now here's the star of Ashley Reacts, Ashley Fractic! <laughs> Why are you pretending there's an audience? There's no one here. <clears throat> Welcome to Retro Recipes. Welcome. So we've sat you down at these computers and we're going to see you. if you can figure out how they work, how to get a game working, how to maybe even turn them on. <laughs> um, we'll start with asking you, do you know what this is? This one? Yeah. Some Apple thing. It is, and it, actually the name's on the top. So that is the Apple... Mount? No? Oh, sorry, I mean the top of the bottom. So right it's there. the Apple... It's confusing, right? So this is how they stylized <laughs> I was the like, logo. Uh... How would you read that? Um, I'd say two forward slashes. It's the Apple two forward slashes, correct. <laughs> um, Puppy Fractic was trying to help. She, did you hear a whisper in your ear? No. She said two E. Two E, that's an, oh, that's an E. Oh, wow. Thought it was an A from back here. God bless you. Wow. The Apple two E. So I can now reveal. So I didn't want to have any spoilers. Mm. It's the Apple backslash backslash E. <laughs> so this one was released in 1983 and was actually produced for 10 years mm -hmm. until pretty recently. You were born in... 92. So this was still being manufactured when you were one years old. Yeah. Oh. So this machine, they sold about... Actually, can you guess how many units they sold in that 10 years? 2,000. A little more. 5,000. Remember it's Apple. 10,000. Times that by 10. 100,000? No, times that no. by 10. That's a lot of math. <laughs> another zero. Yep, on another that. zero. And then times that by five. Five, five million. Million. They, they sold about five million units of this. Wow. In 10 years. Why don't you turn it on for us? Uh. I want to push where it says push. Okay, go for it. Oops, broke it. Yep, I broke it. No, I should point but out But I can this. change the volume. Yeah. Oh my, Lanta. I don't even know where to start. Oh, no. Nope. What did I just touch? So you turned on the turbo boost. Oh, But hyper that's speed. not going to work unless it's on first. My jeans. Am I like? You're I'm getting, lost. getting warm just then. Am I? Yeah. Like. Very warm now. I don't even know. Take a look around your left side. You, you can uh, get that one. I still don't you see, see a switch? Anything. No. Wait, did the switch fall oh, off? No. Wait, is this a switch? Oh, that's yes. it. <laughs> you are in. Wow. Well done. Now, um, unfortunately, this machine's currently faulty. Okay. So that's as far as we can go. But I've got a refurb coming up uh, where I'm going to need some new disk drive belts for an Apple IIe. Excuse me, do you have disk drive belts for the Apple IIe? No. They're like little rubber bands. Yeah, but we have rubber bands. You have rubber bands? Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, which aisle? It, it's, it's over with the you 
Shipping peanuts. <laughs> Shipping what? Peanuts. Oh, peanuts. I just saw your worlds collide from Walmart <laughs> to, to YouTube just then. They did. They did, right? They did. Thank you. You turned on the Apple TV. Uh, you can turn it off. Yeah. Okay. Not that button. Want to do the turbo? Just kidding. <laughs> well done. That was beautiful. Okay. What have we here? Atari 400? Atari 400. Ah, oh, I did it. Now, do you remember the first ever video I did with you? I remember it. it retro furbishing. Retro brighting. Retro brighting, yes. Yes. With the, the alcohol. Exactly. Um, what was it exactly? Product called? Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Look at you. What a champ. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, do you have any good solutions for retro brighting an Atari 400? Um, we have. Actually, what's really good is we have some hydrogen peroxide right here. So it's really good for uh, Atari. That's good for Atari's? Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. How do you turn this thing on? Okay. Huh. First thing I want to do is go right there. Look at you. Ah, I did it. Can you load for us Star Wars, the arcade game? Star Wars. Okay. Uh, does this do anything? I'm afraid to touch it. Can I touch Don't it? Can I push it? it? Oh. oh. There is a game in there. You got a blow in these two? You know, that's actually <laughs> an urban legend. People thought you blowing in them would help. If anything, it's just adding a bit of moisture to the contacts from your breath. But. How do you know if it's all the way in? See what happens. Yay! I did it. You loaded the game. Success. Good job. 1984. Long time ago. Mm. Do you want to play a little bit? Sure. <laughs> nah. She, I think she wants to try that. <laughs> you have a guess how you started up. The red button. Okay, now. I don't know what I'm shooting. Oh wow, I'm used to like inverted playing styles. Yeah, it's actually really confusing because up is down. <laughs> right, we're going into the Dead Star Ashley. <laughs> Thanks for the sound effect. <laughs> so dodge the fireballs, and then you know Star Wars, when the trench comes at the end, you've got to shoot something into the trench hole. Okay. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoops. Coming up soon. You ready? It's going to be about here. And you to... There it is. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh no. Ashley. Oh, the uh, whole rebellion is relying on you. Oh uh, well. You get another shot. It's the wrong person. We just looked at the Atari 400. Mm -hmm. Any idea how many that sold? Uh, more or less than the Apple. What do you think? Less. Correct. Maybe a couple of million, but definitely less than the Apple IIe. And you can see when it was made, you can reveal the... What years was this produced? 1979 and 1983. Huh. Oh, okay. So moving on. Any ideas what this is? Commodore 64? Yeah. <laughs> Which has appeared in many of your clips. What is with you on Commodores? What? You're obsessed. Why don't you do a video on, like, Spectrums? Uh, because they're not as good. Thank you. Next. I'm kidding, of course. But what's no joke is the quality of PCBs from PCB Way. And their website right now has a flash sale for up to 30% off and SMT orders for $30. Because as we all know, PCB stands for Pretend Commodore Bias. Doesn't it? You've heard me talk about it mm -hmm. often. It usually isn't yellow. Because mm -hmm. this one is made of... Legos? Legos. Look at you. I remember. <laughs> Have you been watching my videos? No. Mm. Yes. So can we turn it on? Thank you. Oh, probably should have watched into more detail. Huh? <laughs> no, no, wait. Look at you. Oh. Oh. Hey, that's what um, you did. So I know I did it right. Yay. Yay. So what does that say? Commodore 64 basic. Version 2? Version 2. 
64k RAM system, 38911, basic bytes, free, ready. 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 Now, any idea how many of these were made? 50,000. A little higher. 500,000. Higher. Through 2 million. Higher. 3 million? Higher. 4.5 million. Higher. 6 million? Oh, a lot higher. 8 million? Much higher. 20. About 18 million are the rumors. So this is the best selling home computer of all time in the history. Wow. Apart from the Lego. I didn't even know that. She didn't even know that. Didn't she know. didn't know that. And this was made from 1982 to 1994. Okay. Various different designs and guises. So Ashley. Yes. I'm going to give you a game. Okay. And just load it up and we'll play it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here's the game. It's called Alice in Video Land. <laughs> One of my favorites when I was a kid. Would you believe? Off you go. I used to put this in like CD players. Not this. Wrong way? Definitely the wrong way. I'm so confused. Wait, am I even in the wrong slot? Yeah. I'm in the wrong slot, huh? You're very much in the wrong slot. You're actually in the wrong machine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that so okay? What's it say on it? Commodore. Uh huh. No. Dang, I don't remember. So we're gonna we're running a game. Um, but we have to load it first. That's, that's a really good guess, actually. Run, stop. But it's a Commodore computer, so can you see a combination of keys that would be like run, but for Commodore? Hmm. Maybe a Commodore and logo and this? run together, maybe? So these two? Maybe. Oh. Oh. Searching found Alice. Sounds promising. Did I beat it? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't win yet. Is that normal? Okay. It's normal, but not normal. Is that, is that what they call the music? Not the music, no. Okay. It's just the loading? It's the sound of the data coming off the tape, kind of like a fax machine, mm -hmm. as it's loading it into the memory of the computer. Oh, okay. Alex. She's very blocky. <laughs> it really takes this long? It really takes this long. Wow. This was kind of a fun, nostalgic thing. You'd go and make a cup of tea. I have a lot of fond memories of waiting for games to load. <laughs> when the PlayStation came out, you would put it in, and then if you saw that it kept loading, it wasn't doing anything, then you'd just have to turn it off, reset it, put it back in, and that would work. Struggle is real. Yeah. <laughs> Play dead and it's not working. Ashley. Yeah. It's still loading. I know. Hey. Press fire button to start the game. Over to you, Ashley. I don't know where the fire button is. Maybe on a joystick? Is there a joystick attached? Oh. Huh. Is Wait. Yeah. Is this the fire yeah, button right here? Yeah. Do I use this? Yeah. While I play? Yeah. Which way do I hold it? You got it. This way? <coughs> Your fingers on the fire wraps around. Right. <laughs> 
I think I just went down the rabbit hole. I don't know if I even have to move. Seems like this bit is just automatic. Yeah. <coughs> now I think you do some moving. Do I need that? Do I need Yeah, get the cake. Oh. Get that oh. basket. Uh. You basket case. Get the cake. Uh. Yeah, it makes you grow, you see, when you eat cake. Oh, okay. So do I want to grow? I think so. Get the key. What the? Get the basket. Get the key. Oh no, I got huge. You got huge. You're just absorbing keys now. Okay, this is kind of creepy. Oh, there's a door. A, oh, you're too big. Aww. How do I shrink? Ooh, where What'd you do? Know? I don't know. Okay. I went somewhere. Now so, a miniature. <laughs> miniature actually. It's a big door. Can't go in the big door. I need some cake. I need cake. This cake is too fast. Ooh, a door. Am I not supposed to go through doors? I like this. Uh, I think it's right. It's just so psychedelic. I need cake. Potion. Tables. Man. Oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm huge and I'm stuck. Now I'm smaller. <gasps> Did I just stop time? Interesting. You did something good. How do you feel about being actually in video land? This is, it's interesting. I can't tell like what's good and what's bad. Take the red cake, Ashley. So this is the... Commodore A500 Plus. Yeah, actually short for Amiga 500. Amiga, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I should have that. No, like... you're nuts. <laughs> no, I mean like nuts and bolts for an Amiga 600. I thought I was your Amiga. You know, like uh, the computer. Any idea on the sales of this one? 25 million? About five million. Oh, it did not do as well? No. At all? <laughs> um, this was just hard to beat. So this may be a little more familiar because we're going through the ages into more modern eras. Mm -hmm. Can you load google.com on the web? Typing? I don't know. Huh. Google? Google? That's a nine. That's a, that's a G. That's a G? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's lowercase G. Okay. 909. Yeah, you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It actually has Google. That's me. Did you break the mouse now? Um, Ashley. Yeah. I think we've achieved a lot with this machine. You got Google <laughs> loaded. Good job. <laughs> All right, do you want to try and turn on the Super Nintendo Mini? <gasps> you did something. So crazy. Yay. Oh my Star Fox. So these are virtual cartridges. You can click a room. And... This game is so hard. Aw, Yoshi's Island. Wow. I love Penguin. The classic. Yeah. This is my favorite too. 
too. It's so different. How, like, every system with their buttons. Yeah, they have like those different things. A's up here, B's over here. Yeah. I wish I had two controllers. But I did it. You did it. Oh, Any idea what this is? It's a personal word processor. It is. Who is it made by? Amstrad. Yeah. Do you know what Amstrad stands for? Nope. So it was founded by a gentleman called Lord Sugar, but back then he was Alan Michael Sugar. A M S. And trad was for trading, so it's Alan Michael Sugar trading Amstrad. That's my initials too. What? A -S. What? Mm -hmm. Whoa. So I should get some something in all of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tweet him. See what he says. All right. So you're Ashley Michael Sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing this beautiful little machine to us. Um, this is the PCW8256 Personal Computer Word Processor. And any idea how many this sold? Seven million. Pretty close, eight million. Oh, wow. More than That's the Apple... as close as I got with all the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little more than the Apple IIe, in mm -hmm. fact. Um, and this was so good because it was fully integrated. There was no external hard disks or disk drives. It was all built in. Oh. And it even came with a printer as well. That's cool. Yeah. Do you know what else is cool? What? You turning it on. I think. See how simple it is? You started making it easier. They made it easier. They did. Good old Lord oh. Sugar. So we already have our word processor disks in, mm -hmm. so it's going to load you straight into that. And I want to see if you can create a new document. Ooh. This thing doesn't have a mouse? This thing does not have a mouse, no. Wow. Oh, it's so sensitive. Yeah. Okay, so I'm creating a new document? Correct. Um, What should I name this document? Whatever you like. So this, is, this is going to be your document. Ooh, okay. Oh no. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm Ashley Frack. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can do. Drive A. Hmm, how do I? Yeah, seems good. Fingers crossed. Look at you. I did something. <laughs> it's just a letterhead, basically. So it starts with dear. Did you want to write a little something to our lovely viewers from Ashley Fract? So I start up here. You can cursor your way down to dear. Yeah. <laughs> the pressure. There's no pressure. <laughs> Just pretend the camera isn't here. It's not in my face. <laughs> Can I do a I save it? Or it already gets saved? I think you should exit and save it so we have it forever. <clears throat> How do I do that? Do you want to sign it? Sure. Who's it from? Who's it from? Yeah. Actually, fact it. Come on. <laughs> Cute. So see if you can exit out of that document and see if it'll save. Can I give you a clue? Stop. Oh. oh. Happy to help. Exit. Save and continue. Finish editing. Let's save and continue. Enter. It's doing something. Well done, you saved it. I did it. Do you want to just... There you are. Ashley dot act. <laughs> Ashley for... So take your disky out. <clears throat> this one? Yeah. No. Have you seen one of those before? I've seen a floppy disk, but not this. Not this. So that that's actually my original um, like childhood disk of all my letters and stuff. Mm -hmm. You've probably seen discs more like these. Yeah. Yeah. So these... <coughs> you're allergic to floppy discs? I think so. It's been so long. <coughs> so these are three and a half inch discs. Mm -hmm. But Amstrad used these because they were cheaper. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Good old Ashley Michael Sugar. Yep. All right, I'd say you could keep that, but that's a family heirloom. But oh. I'll make you a copy. Thanks. Ashley? Yes. We've run out of machines. This is a Commodore. <laughs> the well-known Commodore <laughs> food mixer here at Retro Recipes. <laughs> Good job, Ashley. I think we probably just have to wrap things up now, don't we? Yep. All right. I think so. So back to you, Ashley and Perifractic in the studio. Insert. <laughs> Insert. Okay. So what do you think? Was I a gracious guest or should I just give it a rest? Comment below and cheerio. Thank <laughs> you.